So like I said, we've got a um, subroutine here called total, and that gets called when our check button is clicked. So when we click this check button, everything here in this subroutine starts happening, basically. So what that does is it checks for what has been, uh, for what our inputs are, and then it creates an output based on those inputs. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at that. So now you guys should know what some of this stuff means. So first thing we've done here is we've got a variable and we've declared it as being score. Now we've set that score to zero by default. So when you start your quiz, when you the first thing that happens when you click that button, when you click that check button, it sets the score to zero. Then what it does is we've got some if statements. So what it's doing here is it's looking for the Q1 variable. So what we're doing, we're saying Q1 var dot get. So it's getting the value of Q1, which is here. It's one of these three options. So, and if we look at it in the, here, um, it's looking to see what these are. If it is value one, so if Q var dot get is equal to one, so that's if our value is one, if it's the first one, if it's this here, if that's the thing that's chosen, what it will do, it'll say score becomes score plus one. So right now, score is zero. So score is changed to zero plus one, so it stores one. We've got elif, so else if q1 var dot get equals two, so that means if this thing is selected, it's going to set the score to score. So zero is going to set it to zero and response one dot bar set is incorrect. We'll talk about that later on. So if I click on that now, we'll see it's changed to incorrect. It's changed the total score to one because it's reduced by one. And then we have the same thing for three. That is because three is also incorrect. So if we go further down, same thing for question two. It's checking Q2 var, which tells us what these values are, what's stored here. If one, if it's one and one's our correct answer, then it's going to add one to the score. So the score was originally, depending on what the score was for the first question, if the score was one, well then it would say one becomes one plus two. So one plus one, sorry, the score becomes one plus one, which then stores two. If your score was zero, because you got the first question wrong, you'll have score becomes zero plus one, and likewise for the rest of them. So this is exactly the same, but except, sorry, except that instead of Q1 var, which we had here for all of these options, you've got Q2 var. So basically what would have to happen is you would have this happening 10 times with the four different responses. So you would have Q, um, Q2 var uh, equals four, and you would explain what's going on there because you've got you're going to go from A to D, and then you would have all of this Q3 var, Q4 var, Q5 var, all the way to Q10 var. So that's what's that's what's going on there. Now, so that that's that's how we determine if that. So that's how your software checks to see if your thing is uh, is correct. Now, this label here, as you can see, this uh, this works dynamically in that every time you change it or every time you check it, it updates whatever that label there is. In order for that to happen, what you've got to do, you've got to create a string variable. So right now we've got three string variables because I've got three questions in my quiz. What we want to do is we want to have, you guys will have to have 10. So what we're going to do, I'm going to say create string variables. And that's what makes the text within the label update dynamically. So what we do with that is if your um, string variable, so if uh, q1.get equals one, so if it's correct, basically, so if it's correct, so wherever I've added the score, wherever I put this score becomes score plus one, the next line I've said, okay, response one, uh, var so that's this here response one dot set so I'm setting that to correct because that's correct the first option 
is correct. Um, and then I do the same thing for, for the others. So for um, if they choose option number two, well then it's incorrect. If they choose option number three, then it's also incorrect. And all I've done, I've just gone through those. So they are all response two, response two, response two. And the next one is response three, response three, response three. So basically you guys will have up to response 10. And then what that is, that allows your, um, so then what that means that is, once again, that's this label here. And it updates dynamically on the fly every time. Okay, we've got one more value. We've got one more um, label, and that is this thing here with the score. So we're going to see how that happens. Now, as well as um, as well as well these string variables, what we've got, we've got another string variable here for the score. So I'm going to call this, I'm going to say we're creating our score string variable. So what that means is that that's where we can put in our message. Well, I've called it message here. That's where we can put in our text for the score. So um, what I've got here is I've just put down message equals this string plus str score. So what that means is it takes score, which is a number. It's declared as a number here at the top of our subroutine. And all we're doing is we're adding to that number. Sometimes we add zero, sometimes we add one and we're converting that to a string. And then what we're saying is this string and this string goes into this string here called message. And then what we're doing from there is we are converting, is we are saying whatever we've got here is this message is set this string variable, score output var, which is this thing here. So what we're doing is we're saying we're gonna take that variable and we are going to store whatever this string is into that variable. The next thing, so I'm going to stop this video. The next video explains how it's actually, how those things are being displayed.